Now, though, to continue our inspirational story segment, we are joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by Anne Murphy, who is part of the Auckland chapter of the worldwide organisation Bikers Against Child Abuse, whose mission is to empower children to be unafraid of the world in which they live. Good morning, Anne. Good morning, Mel. It is so nice to have you here. Have you always been a biker? Yes, I have, in my heart, I suppose. I, I started riding motorcycles years ago. I raced motocross. Um, but I've been a biker now for the last five years. Not Hard out biker. I uh, know, look, you're a breath of fresh air. It's been <laughs> full of energy here this morning. We're in for a great chat. Um, Becca, tell me more about that. What inspired you to set that up? Um, well, we've got an appalling rate here in New Zealand of child abuse. In fact, we've got one of the worst records in the world. Yeah. And we're such a small country. Um, I'm a grandma. I love kids. I wanted to do something about helping these kids. We only hear about the bad ones, but there are thousands of other kids out there experiencing some pretty nasty stuff, family violence, all that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I got together with a few mates and uh, we all ride motorbikes and the rest is it sort just, of... It just seemed to follow through. So why did you choose Backer? Because it was already an organisation. It's an organisation that's been around for 22 years. It was started in the States 22 years ago in Utah. Um, it's right throughout the world now in 17 countries. Um, but why recreate a wheel if it's already there? And they've got the things in process and they, you know, and, and their organisation is, yeah. is so good. And we do training, we do barker training. Yeah, well, let's talk a bit more about that, those things that are in process. What, what do you actually do for the kids? We turn up. We turn up. When a child wants us, we will be there. Often they've been let down by other adults, um, but when, when they want us to be there, we will be there. So they come to us, all various ways and means that they come to us. We um, bring them into our, our family, the Baka family, and um, we empower them to, be, to feel safe again, to be unafraid, and they grow up to be really, really cool adults. So this has been happening for a while in New Zealand now. So We've, only, we've been a chapter for the last two years. It's right. taken, it took us two years prior to that to get to chapter status. So we're celebrating our fourth year, and we've just patched another chapter down in Christchurch. Wow, that is great. OK, well, speaking of patches, um, do you have like a, a name, like a, like a bikey name? I do, yes. We all have um, road names. My name is Flower. Oh, nice. Is it on your jacket? I've actually bought my vest. Oh, look at that. This is, shows you that I am a member of Baka. It's the Auckland chapter. But on the front of my vest, I have my member patch, my name Flower. I'm the secretary of the Auckland chapter. I'm also an original member, and that there is my personal piece, my personal item that my granddaughter drew that for me. That is beautiful. I absolutely love that. It's That's good. gorgeous. Where did a flower come from? I just love flowers. Oh, nice. Yeah. I had a friend who used to call me flower all the time. It's better than Doris. <laughs> <laughs> it was better than Doris. Um, and the children, do they get to choose names as well? They do. Yes, we actually ask, we, we let them choose their, their own name. And it's important for them. The reason we have road names, and we all have road names, and in, including our children, is because it gives them a level of protection so that they, uh, they then feel as if they're part of our organisation mm -hmm. and our whānau, and it's really important for them. They, feel, they get yeah. their own vest. Oh, wow. We do give them a little vest. They have a patch on their back that says, I am a bucket child, I am not, I, and I'm not afraid. Who is this little fellow that you've got here too? Well, this is our teddy bear. This is our bucket bear. So we have this, when we have a child, when, we, when a child comes to us, we do a ride to the house. We actually call it an empowerment ride, so the whole chapter ride. And we turn up at the house, we give the child their vest, and then we give them a bucket bear. Now, every one of us hold it, fill it up with our love, and we give it to the child. And every so often it might need to be refilled so we can tell the child, come and give us a call. We actually assign them two primaries. So they have a phone number that they can ring any time at any time of day or night. We will be there. We will turn up. And there's always two of us that will be there. It's safety first for the children. Wow. And when it comes to dealing with, with families, how does that go? Because I guess, you know, the whole bunch of, of bikies turning up at the house sometimes <laughs> may be a little bit intimidating. But how do, you, how do you get around that problem? Well, we're bikers. <laughs> um, and yes, the idea that we are bikers and doing this role, and yes, we are. there is a level of intimidation, that's for the perpetrator to be aware, that don't mess with us. Mm. OK, cool. And it also makes the, the child feel really, really Oh, secure. I think so, it'd be amazing yeah, to have yeah. a whole bunch of bike, bikes oh, turn no, up no. Thing. <laughs> So tell us about the event that's coming up on December the 10th. We actually are now working very closely with Oranga Tamariki and we have got a, it's a private um, fun day for our kids that we're 
going to put on a Christmas party for them. Um, and of course, we're also working with uh, Steps Forward in Rodney District. So we're putting on a little party for them for Christmas to celebrate their year, just to give a little bit of fun for them. Um, and it's just our way of giving back to those kids that give to us as well. Wow, I so love what you do. Where do you want to see Bucca in the future? I'd love to see more chapters here in New Zealand. I'd like to have a lot more awareness about who we are, what we do. Um, but yeah, I, our goal is to save one child at a time. If we can save one child, we'll break those chains of abuse. One child saved is a generation saved. Oh, wow. That's oh, amazing. You are a brilliant human being, you and your team. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Absolute Matthew. pleasure Thank to you. learn more. Thank you, Anne. And to find out more about Bucket NZ, or if you could use their help, phone the helpline on 022 652 7784.